terraria, but the world shrinks every single day. Although this challenge is not realistic and possible, we are still going to see how far we can get. And let me tell you, it gets crazy. But before we get into this video, if you guys could do me a huge favor and subscribe, we are going to be trying to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of 2024. And any of your guys' help would be greatly appreciated. But anyways, let's get into the video. So before we did anything, we we started to get some wood so we could make some NPC housing later on. We also really needed to hurry because if we didn't get to the dungeon on time and fight Skeletron, the dungeon might just disappear. So in the hopes of making things quicker, I started mining. We need to get this heart. But while I was mining, this ended up happening. Why am I going into it? I was just trying to go past it. Leave me alone. Yo, I just... Did I just box him like it's Fortnite? And I'm dead. <laughs> but after that death, we got to work on some very much needed NPC housing because we needed the demolitionist ASAP. Sweet, so we have our housing done. Um, that works perfect. Now all we needed to do was wait. And wait. And wait. Yeah, it took a while. <laughs> So in the meantime, we ended up just going exploring. And while we were exploring, I found an ice blade. This is an extremely important weapon for the start of pre-hard mode. And it'll definitely help in the Eye of Cthulhu fight. A little after that, I found a spider cave and sadly died. But the good part is the demolitionist arrived. So we started gearing up. Although it wasn't a lot, it still got us to where we needed to be. By that, I mean I just replaced it with better armor. We had some platinum, so I had to use it. And then we ended up just making use of the demolitionist and getting a ton of grenades, which helps us out a ton. But with that being done, I thought we were ready for the Eye of Cthulhu fight. Thought. By that, I mean I was so underprepared. It went absolutely horrible. Like, just look at this. But with failure, always comes redemption, and I was not about to back down. So I got more hearts, better accessories, and better gear. And this time, I was ready to take down the Eye of Cthulhu. So we fought, and fought, and fought, and I finally took him down on the second try, of course. And we got what we needed, which was the Eye of Cthulhu shield. But now that we were done with that, I wanted to go check on the border and see how we were going. And well, we have half of an ocean. So that means it's moving pretty quick and we need to hurry. So my first idea was to just go and try to get some scales from the Eater of Worlds, which I wasn't expecting to kill him. I just needed a few scales for, you know, some armor. But as you can tell, that didn't work out. <laughs> and then we tried again. And it's the same result. So after that, I realized I need a serious game-changing plan. And so I resorted to the Vilethorn. <laughs> but we did have to craft a couple mana stars. And then we upgraded our gear a bit. We got full platinum now, so. But we are finally ready to fight this thing. And so there we have it. We killed the Eater of Worlds. And now we can open the treasure bag and get the Worm Scarf. The Worm Scarf is going to help us out so much in this playthrough. But after that, I got to working on getting some Meteorite. And let me tell you, it was not easy. <laughs> So now that we have enough meteorite, we can make the, where is it? Oh, meteorite bars. Here we go. Holy crap. All right. Let's make the helmet, uh, the suit, and the leggings. There we are. 
And we better make the rest of this stuff as well. Anyways, we have enough, so why not? And so after we were all geared up, I wanted to go and see where the barrier was at now. And well, we don't have an ocean. It is way farther than the ocean. And we need to hurry up before the dungeon disappears. So we got to working on the Skeletron Arena, and we had to get this done fast, or else we would not have time. And with the power of my magical editing skills, it's finished. But unfortunately, a bigger problem approached, and it was the Goblin Army. But we made quick work of them. Like, very quick work of them. I think this was even easier than any of the bosses we've done so far. I've died like once during this event. So after the Goblin Army, which was a minor inconvenience, we got to fighting Skeletron. So like usual, um, we go to fight him and I usually think I'm prepared. Um, that's never the case. I really suck at this fight as well. So it did not go well. I died so unbelievably fast in this. So after I realized how underprepared I was, I panicked because we had to fight Skeletron at least in these next two tries and defeat him in order for us to be able to go farther in this challenge. So I got to work. Okay, we're geared up, so I think I'm ready for this fight. We even have a bass statue up here, right up here. So that should help with the defense. I made some potions and some new armor. So, uh, let's go. so low and it's getting really hard to dodge this. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Sweet. So we finally killed Skeletron. And this is probably the biggest win all video. But let's go check out where the world border is right now and see how close we got to not being able to do this so we were literally a smidge off if we spent one more night i think we could have still made it but any more than two more nights we would have not been able to kill skeletron at all but after trying our hardest to get to skeletron and kill him I think I'm going to leave us on a little bit of a cliffhanger and we're going to do hard mode in the next episode. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you comment your favorite part of this video. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all so, so much. And uh, yeah, see ya.